The Cherokee Nation moving money and resources to build up its legal system after the U.S. Supreme Court's landmark ruling in the McGirt case. Two Works News' Katie Kelleher looks at how it's making changes to criminal code to ensure that people who commit crimes face the justice they deserve. Katie? The McGirt ruling means more cases will be held in tribal courts, so Cherokee Nation is making some changes and upgrades to keep up with the demand. This affects the day-to-day -day lives of people, whether they're tribal citizens or not. Cherokee Nation working to update its criminal code and make it more consistent with Oklahoma laws. Principal Chief Chuck Hoskin Jr. says some of the biggest changes include better protections for victims of domestic abuse. For example, the code now making it a felony to commit domestic abuse against a pregnant woman. Chief Hoskin says these updates are about making the justice system better. If you're a victim of violence, you want to know that there's a criminal justice system that will hold the perpetrator accountable. If you're a defendant in a system in this country and in Cherokee Nation, you deserve to have a fair system of justice that you are subject to. The tribe is also allocating $10 million in additional spending on law enforcement, prosecution, and for the tribal courts. We have a little bit of time, though, to uh, find the resources and commit them to things like prosecutors, more marshals for our marshal service, uh, our court system, that includes judges. Chief Hoskins says that money will also go toward things like maintaining contracts with jails. And even though the initial proposal is $10 million, he thinks they'll eventually need up to $35 million. A big effect of the McGirt ruling, state cases on tribal land now called into question over jurisdiction. According to Cherokee Nation, other updates made ensure cases dismissed by state courts because of McGirt can be refiled in Cherokee Nation's courts. Chief Hoskins says they're working with other law enforcement agencies and prosecutors to communicate how those cases go forward. Because when it comes time for these cases, a specific case, let's say, where someone is released from the state system, we want to be able to be talking. We want to be on the phone with the district attorney. We want to be able to be on the phone with the, with the uh, state attorney general. We want to be able to talk to law enforcement about these cases. The spending increase will be considered by the full tribal council next month. Katie Kelleher, Two Works for You.